fellow quack, doctor, sonologist. Not exactly sonologist, he's a quack. He's been doing illegal sex determination for a while. And he was trying to get out of get both of them guy. Uh, he was doing illegal sex, sex determination in a private place in Thadipur of Gwalia. And immediately, because we were prepared that we to get all of this guy, so I sent my officers along with a pregnant Alanwadi worker in this particular private place. Uh, as, I, as I'm mentioning, I was collected Gwalia at that point of time. And Gwalia is a place where sex extermination and female feticide was rampant. Can you believe that in about 2000 girl children were missing for a month alone from Gwalia itself? So this situation which was alarming, I thought this should be the subject that I should take up as collector Gwalia. That evening at 6 o'clock when I got this call, I sent my officers along with this pregnant army body worker and in an hour's time we could, get, we could catch hold of this quack red-handed. I will leave it there under the PCP and Act 2004 of the Government of India. I put the case against him but I felt that this issue should become the talk, not only of, of the town but of the country. I felt that illegal sex determination of female feticide is an issue of national security. That is when I invoked the National Security Act of the Government of India and I sent him to jail for one year under the NSA and it was the first of its cases in the entire country for a person illegal illegal sex discrimination was booked under the National Security Act. What happened actually? What, why am I mentioning all these things? 1991, there were 945 girls per thousand boys as per 1991 census. In 2001, it dwindled to 927 girl children per thousand boys. That is about 70,000 girl children missing for 1 million boys. What exactly happened? What happened in this whole process? Sonography machines which were supposed to bring about, uh, it was a technique to determine, to ensure that children are born by her parents and the government. That is how largely Lakshmi Yojana was born and I'm very proud to say that more than 15 states of this country copied or adapted Lati Lakshmi Yojana as it is in this country. Sex determination and female to decide. The missing girl children is not alone an issue pertaining to Madhya Pradesh or India. The entire South Asia or in Asia, if you see, the kind of mindset that had actually emerged over a period of time and with this enabling techniques which were meant for positive purposes, certain sections of quacks or phenomenologists have been using this for different purposes. This is waging a war against our own girl children, our own daughters. This is genocide. We need to ensure we all who belong to the governments, civil societies, NGOs, and people like you, we all come, should come together to ensure that this genocide or this waging a war against our own daughters is stopped. Governments, not only this state governments, government of India has come up with Beti Bacha, Beti Parao and all such schemes. And I'm very happy to say that today with this enabling and with this kind of schemes for positive with a positive environment is creating an atmosphere to ensure that girl children are born. United Nations Millennium Development Corps mentioned specifically that we need to look at 
the issue of girl children. We need to look at domestic violence against women in a, in a larger picture. And we need to try to bring in schemes, provisions which are enabling in nature. That is where we all come into picture and that is where we need to work together to ensure that girl children are born and a positive atmosphere is created for the girl children. And I'm very happy to mention the very Gwalia wherein this used to be very rampant. The doctors there formed a society amongst themselves called DOST, D O S T, doctors opposing sex determination techniques. We need to bring in some, such kind of initiatives and positive schemes to ensure that there is enabling environment for the girl children. Not only in the field of women and child development department, health, education, social justice, all these issues, all these areas, we need to bring in positive kind of climate and environment and we need to ensure that not only the million, millennium development goals but also the constitutional provisions of the government of India and the issues that I've been mentioning that we need to look at our own human development model in a positive way. The pictures that I'm showing you, these are the pictures we have, these are the statues we have put up in Gwalia, Chauras. We, we, we put up different kinds of um, statues in, in the cities. But if we have to create a positive environment in every place, every such Chaurasta, Chaurasta, we need to have such positive statues which will, which will prick every person who passes through and creates a positive environment amongst